Welcome to the exciting SD Tech University here at CES 2011. This is the four day semester between fall and spring. We're going to be learning all about the world of SD and the newest standard, SDXC. Now I want to make sure you're all paying attention in class today. So on the count of three, as loud as you can, SDXC. One, two, three! SDXC! Did you hear how loud that gentleman was back there? He gets his very own SDXC hat. There you go. Hand that to Samuel. <laughs> Thank See, you. See, you had to pass it because you weren't loud enough. We're going to work on that, okay? More prizes to give out. Okay, so what's new in the world of SD today? Well, SDXC is the latest generation of memory cards that will exceed your capacity and speed dreams. SDXC memory cards are more fun, they're more productive, and they give you more time. You know, just to expand your knowledge about SDXC and its that limited potential, so let's get started. First off, now, by a show of hands, who has an SD-enabled device, a cell phone, a camera, a music player? You all do. He's holding one in his hand right there. Laptops, printers, TV. They all use SD-enabled devices. Now also, who actually has an SD card? Do you guys own SD cards? Who owns maybe two, three? This guy back here, he's got everything, right? So you know it's all about portability, interpretability, and security. And it's even about backwards compatibility. That's right, the older SD cards you have, they still work in nine most of your devices that are going to start using SDXC. With SDXC, you know what it's all about? It's about extended capacity. It's about extraordinary acceleration, and they're exceptionally cool. So, let's go, uh, go back in time. We were formed in 2000 when we introduced our first SD memory card, and the idea was simple yet brilliant. Hey, let's create something we can all agree on. And within a few years, SD cards beat the competition and became the de facto standard in memory cards, with approximately 90% of the market share. That's pretty cool. Now, more importantly, millions of consumers around the world adopt the SD card as their card of choice. And now, the SDXC card is the new memory in our family. Pretty neat. So, the SD Association, in a matter of years, became the largest association in the industry. In a flash, there was over 1,000 members, more than 400 global brands, and over 8,000 models using the SD technology. Pretty neat. So, I want you to consider this booth our campus, and each zone is a student activity center. So to our far right reception desk, you can go later to find out some more detailed information about how SD fits in with your life and your company. But to my far left, right over here, is the SD application and SD video application area. There are many exciting new applications you'll want to see firsthand, and you can only see them here. See yes, right now. Oh, oh, pop quiz. How many models did I just mention? 8,000. Look at that, 8,000. The man jumped in, and he wins the SDXC memory card case. Look at that. He's listening. Students, listen carefully. Congratulations. 8,000, and the list is just going to keep on growing. And that, by the way, is an SD wallet for all of your SD cards. It's like a little SD book, you know? Segway, speaking of books. If you're a writer or a reader, make sure you go to our brand new electronic publishing SD ebook solution. Its exciting new standard allows full color comic books, newspapers, and books to be downloaded right onto your SD card. So imagine going into a store and buying a comic book on a little SD card. Then you can go home and download more comic books onto that card, and then you can read them on your phone, on your computer, or just about any device. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Okay, we're going to go back in time one more time. Let's go to 2005. The association was working to bring more storage and speed options into the world of SD. So we created a new memory card design. And that was called the Micro SD. Very small Micro SD. Now, with the adapter, you can bring a world of pictures, addresses, music, and videos from your mobile phone right into other SD-enabled devices, like your computers and your navigation devices. Pretty neat, right? The Micro SD is the leading removable storage device for mobile phones, with 90% of that market in 2010. Pretty neat. Micro SD helps you make money by purchasing the memory that's right for you and your phone. So you know what? You don't need to replace your phone when you need your memory. Just get a larger Micro SD card. And you know what? It's pretty good for the environment too. We're trying to move on to some green stuff here at SD. 
Now the quality of visual content has jumped tremendously. We've required more storage and faster speeds. So, in 2006, we created the SDHC card. It gives you more room to store your digital life right on this card. Okay, so as we learned earlier, many of you have these SD cards. For all I know, some of you could be part of the SD Association. And if you are, then you know that we are totally juiced about the SDXC. And let me show you why. SDXC cards are available today, and they hold up to 64 gigabytes of movies, music, photos, games, maps, documents, all sorts of information. In fact, the sky's the limit, but we're going to go beyond the sky. Do you think we can expect maybe 128 gigs by the end of 2011? I think we can. Let me show you how. With integration of data processing speed and the evolution of data recording files, recording files, we created the SDHC to accommodate more than two gigabytes and up to 32 gigabytes data size. Now, with the help of Moore's Law, we've created SDXC to hold more than 32 gigabytes and in a few years, up to two terabytes of capacity to store all of your digital data. So you heard me right. In a few years, the SDXC is going to hold up to two terabytes. Close the mind. Close the mind. So how do we move around such incredibly large amounts of data? Well, we do that with ultra-high-speed data technology. It's also known as UHS. So, I know as good students, you're going to want to learn everything you can about SD technology. You look like you were a good student in school. Welcome back. So what I did is I set up this area right here, the SDXC UHS-1 area. You'll be amazed at what you can learn from this area. Okay, go back to UHS. How did we arrive there? It's a good question. I'm glad I asked it. Well, since we're all voracious media consumers, that's why we're here, we want to be in all the action. And what does that mean? Well, it means HD and 3D content. To handle this, SD, we created the new UHS for faster transfer speed. It helps you move around your files as fast as possible. Cards and products with the UHS-1 symbol can move data at speeds up to 104 megabytes per second. It's pretty amazing. Cards with the just announced UHS-2 can move data up to supersonic speeds, 312 megabytes per second. We'll review that in one second, okay? So, we've also made it that professional camcorders can be as compact as today's cool camcorders. So here's a quick comparison of what you need to know. The 4 gig SDHC delivers 30 minutes of full HD video, but the 64 gig SDXC delivers 8 and a half hours of full HD video. Is that unbelievable? Now as always, SD feels the need for speed and these massive storage, storage departments go by incredible speeds for higher projects. So, for streaming recording, such as recording a video, you've got to have a constant minimum recording speed, right? So, we created the UHS Speed Class. And you can guess what we named it with our original minds here. We called it the UHS Speed Class 1. We didn't really come up with any original name. But what you need to know, it'll be necessary for the host device, which require constant writing speed, to charge the compatibility between the US card, between the SD card, and your device. Okay, so moving on, one more thing you need to know about our booth when you walk inside. We have the SDXC UHS-1 host device area. This is a very good area to go for some extra credit points. Okay, moving on. So, just in review, these two products, they are clocking up to 104 megabytes per, se uh, per second and that quadruples the speed of the original SD card. I will add that unbelievable. And with the new UHS-2, it's going to offer blazingly fast 312 megabytes per second. That's three times the speed of the UHS-1 that's out right now. Good timing, good timing. Plus, in the future, we're planning on doubling that in the near, near future. I find that unbelievable. People will be able to download and uh, enjoy HD content wherever they go with any one of our SD HD products. Check this out. You can use it with smartphones, tablet PCs, car navigation system, handheld gaming consoles, AV viewers, all sorts of devices you can use with the SD XC, SD HD devices. They will turn any device into the ultimate mobile entertainment center. Plus, 
you will now gain another backup option. So really, just wrap your minds around it. Something that's the size of a postage stamp in the near future is going to be able to hold up to two terabytes of data. I find that pretty unbelievable very, very soon. Okay, last thing. Oh, oh does anybody have a uh, an SD-enabled camera by any chance? Yeah, you guys all have a lot of people do, right? Well, current shooting speed is three to four frames per second, right? But in the near future, we can expect 60 frames per second. That's a 50% boost in frames per second, right? So the combination of capacity and speed maximizes performance and gives users the freedom to put lots of high resolution photos into any one of your SDXC cards. So, with SDXC and SDHC, your phone becomes a mobile everything device. Movie theater, photo sensor, and virtual gallery, you won't believe what is going to happen with all the applications you'll be able to store with one of our devices. Best of all, you're going to be able to store gigabytes of space on there. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of my presentation. I'm going to ask the hardest question of all to see who wins the 8 gig micro SD. Just see, this is the device, but that's it. 8 gigs held on that. How long ago was it that 8 gigs was held on something the size of a truck? And there it is, just in that. The quiz question is, does anybody remember my first name? It was put on the front clip. Does anybody remember my first name? It was up there on the yeah. clip. What's Jason. that? Yeah. John. Michael. Jason. Jason. Yeah. Jason. so close. Yeah. No, who's Jose? John. Jeffrey. John. <laughs> Jeffrey is correct. Very good. John, very good. If you guys walked by the booth earlier, you would have seen my gorgeous face with my name. How did you guys not remember that? <laughs> Congratulations, sir. There you go. I've given away a hat. I've given away a wallet. And I've given away an 8 gig macro or micro, uh, uh, micro SD. My next presentation's in a half an hour. I'm going to do it again and I'm going to give it away. This gentleman right there who's pointing that out himself got the hat. Please make your way inside where it's like Disneyland in there. You wouldn't believe all the exciting things that's happening in the SD world.